Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stalwart Bucharest. We've got our final two games of Season 4 today. Uh, we have achieved safety. We have done enough to avoid relegation and avoid, avoid the playoffs as well. So we've done enough despite losing both of our games last episode. Today we've got our final two games. First up is the Academic at Clinchelli and after that it is FC Voluntari. Uh, our final two games before uh, we end Season 4. And then it's about seeing what we need to do to take that next step and help us uh, when we go into season five. So we'll have a look at maybe some potential targets and potential positions where we need to improve. And as always, if you're enjoying the series, do drop a like on the video and leave comments. It's the best way to support and help the channel. And if you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications as we're on the road to a thousand subscribers. So last time we had a really poor pair of games, uh, losing at home for the first time in a while against UCA Arad, and then um, a poor performance away against uh, Dinamo Bucharest. We lost 3-0 in the Eternal Derby. Uh, but despite that, um, results have gone our way, and that means that we have done enough to stay up this season. We've got 30 points from seven games, and we're six points clear of those at relegation playoffs. So yeah, we have done enough. So we're going to play the two games, we're going to have a bit of a recap of the season, and then we're going to have a look at maybe what we need to do to um, set that next step. So let's start, shall we? Academic at Clinchenny are the first game. Uh, I have gone ahead and picked the team already. Uh, we're only 48 hours after that defeat against Dinamo. I've made some changes to try and put out the freshest team that we can. Uh, of course, we lost... Uh, a prayer to a broken leg in the last game. So he's gone back to Petrol or Play SD. Broken leg means he's going to miss about seven months. So he probably won't be back this year. He'll probably be back maybe in January, but not going to be with us. Of course, he's on loan and his loan's been terminated. So I don't think we'll see him again. Uh, we're missing Maximovic to injury. He's not going to play again this season. And this is what we're going to go with today. We're going back to the 4 2 3 1. We're going back to what we started the season with. Uh, we've got East Pass playing a shadow striker behind Minea. So. Bit of a different change. Uh, Stupas playing at left midfield hasn't started a lot this season. So hopefully we can get back to winning ways here after back-to-back -back defeats. We'll see. I'm going to tell them to try and step up their game because we haven't done well recently. I think we've only won maybe two in our, six, in our last six. Okay, off we go. Let's hope for an improved performance here. We do have the ball here with an early throw. Third minute of the game. Could be a chance here for us to, to get an early goal and that would really help us. Here is Jonat Sispas playing behind the forward today. Neguescu and Shofran has a go and Shofran gets a goal. His first for us, uh, he's replaced Popov today and got himself a goal in the third minute. Bit of a rotated side here just to keep it fresh and well, the the replacement right back has got us a goal. Neguescu with the ball and a nice finish from Shofran to give us the early lead. Corner kick for Academica here, Miko Hydragos with it. And it's at the near post. I think it got cleared off the line by Shofran. It might have hit the post as well as a, an Andromeda, someone like that. I don't know what his name was. <laughs> Had a header that went wide. Andronake. It's not Andromeda. That's a TV show. Vasilescu to Neguiscu. Got some space out wide here. Shofran's up in support again. Is he going to use him or is he going to go himself? He's going to go himself and he's passed with a shot straight into the hands of Volcianu. Longer. Zeric. Skekic. And the header away. Here's Neguiscu. Manalake goes long. Finds Stupar in space. I don't mind long balls when they're actually in space. More often than not, we give it away, which is why I don't like it. I think that was outside the box. I think that's going to be a free kick, but we will wait and see. That looked outside the box to me, but VAR is going to have a look at it. I think it was outside the box. It was. That's what I thought. Could be a chance to double our lead here, though. Stupar's on the free kick. And it is in, and it's Nguyescu with a fourth for the season, doubling our lead. It's 2-0, and this is what we've been missing in those couple of games. Uh, you know, we didn't score. That was the first time since December that we'd failed to score in consecutive matches. Nguyescu on the end of the set piece doubles our lead. 2-0, and we're looking good. Clincheni have been in these sort of positions, but haven't had a shot on target yet. They just need to be a bit better with their chance creation, and they could have got into this game, but they haven't managed to do it. Dragos goes long, looks for Suchu and finds Suchu, but Grab manages to get down to save it. Good save by the keeper. Again, been our most consistent performer this season since he came back from injury. And we go into half time, two goals to the good. I think deservedly so. Uh, just keep it up. Maybe get a third goal. Academica have had shots, only one on target, but they've got into those positions. So we still need to be a bit careful, but I'm I'm happy so far. 
Although they have just scored 20 seconds into the second half. And it's Andrew Nake. So that's what I mean. We need to be a bit careful. And they've scored from kickoff. It was, I didn't talk over it because I thought it was just going to amount to nothing. But long hair with the ball to Skechic. And then Andrew Nake got to the ball first, wins the header, and puts, puts them a goal back. Gets them a goal back. 20 seconds that took in the second half. Dragos to Andrew Nake, who got that goal early on. Here's Sabo. Manalake with the header away. Only as far as Zeric, though. And Longer to Chandarov. And suddenly, they've got back into this, and it's 2-2. We've had 10 minutes in the second half, and Academic has just brought it back. Right. Uh, we've got ourselves a game now. We looked much better in the first half. Like I said, they got into those positions, but just didn't create big chances. They must have heard me, because in this second half, they have really started well. And Graeb, again, got wrong-footed there. And I'm going to go for a demand more. Things have suddenly gone a bit south. Going to make a change. Going to remove Ispas and bring on Popescu. Our defenders are getting tired. Nagoyescu is getting tired. 77th minute of the game. We've got the ball here with the Sukar. Can we get a winner from this? We were 2-0 up. It would be disappointing to drop points from this one considering the position we were in. That's oh, It was a good ball, but Manea doesn't quite get to it. Here's Valcianu to Bilali. And Amale has got loads of space here. Manalaki wins the tackle, though. Careful, he's on a yellow. We haven't had a red card all season. We don't want one now. Toma to Stupa. Considering this is a rotated team, I'm not overly disappointed. The fact we were 2-0 up and we've almost thrown it away is not good, though. Here's Toma, and Toma scores his first goal for Stour, and it is 3-2 now. Hopefully, that will be job done and there'll be nothing more to show in the game, but we'll have to wait and see. But Toma... Uh, caps off um, a poor season with a goal he has not been a great midfielder for us and may well be moving on but he's managed to get the goal here to give us a lead again okay we are just going to try and freshen up this defense a bit Manalake is going to come off uh, Brisanovic is going to come on and I'm also going to remove Negoisku and bring on Drigici so all three changes made just to try and keep the team fresh hopefully we can hold on now and keep these three points There's another ball here for us Popescu could make it four here Drigiti to Shofran. Vasilescu from range. It's blocked. Here's Toma. Popescu to Shofran. Toma to Stupar. And Stupar does make it four. He got a couple from the bench in a previous game. He's starting today. He's got himself his goal. Five minutes from time. It's 4-2. And that should now be job done. And three points. Looked a bit nervous early in that second half. They got the early goal back. Academica. They got the equaliser. But we then did well to, to retake that two-goal cushion. Good character from the boys. Might still be another goal in this yet, though. Three and a half minutes of the 90 left. Here comes Popescu. And this might be a fifth here. Popescu was going all the way. Can he put a ball in there for someone? It is Stupar. He's got himself another goal. That's five. And he's started today. Got another two. It's 5-2. There may still be goals in this. There's still three minutes of normal time left. Okay, full time. It is a 5-2 win. Uh, we scared ourselves a bit early in that second half when they got two goals in 10 minutes to equalise. But we then retook that lead, re, uh, regained that two goal cushion and then really put it to bed with Stupar getting that late brace. Um, good performance overall, just a nervy sort of 10 minutes or so where Academica started well. I don't think this game's working quite right. Apparently we're in a continental qualification spot. I don't think that's quite right somehow. Good to get back to winning ways after a pair of uh, poor performances last episode. We've got Voluntari away from home, our final game. It'd be nice to get a win away from home. Something we haven't managed to do a lot this season. Our home form's been good, but away from home we haven't done as well. We've actually only won three uh, league games away from home this season against uh, Sepsi, Botashani and Hermannstadt. So hopefully we can get one more. I think we will have to rotate a little bit again because there's going to be some tire players out there. Okay, fitness wise, they're not looking too bad. I'm okay. I think we'll bring Popescu back in though in place of Vispas. Toma and Vasilescu actually did all right. So we're going to keep them in. Uh, Stupak got two goals. So I'm going to keep him in. I'm going to give uh, Betzer a game at centre-back in place of Sukar. It's going to be Betzer's last game. Uh, he's leaving at the end of the season, so this is going to be his last match. So we're going to put him in. Oh, they're actually going to go Brasanovic in place of Manalake as well. So go for two different centre-backs. I'm not sure if Brasanovic will be here. He's got a year left. Uh, I might move him on. We'll wait and see. Last game of the season. Let's hope we can have a good performance to round things off. Last game against uh, Akinemika will be great, apart from about 10 minutes. Uh, let's make sure that we end the season well. And off we go.
And off we go. 20 minutes later. Here we go. Brasanovic, 21 minutes with a free kick. Here's Popescu and Chofran. Got his first goal for us in that last game. Here he is again. He's got Nagoyska in front of him. He can go for the cross himself. He could go back to Vasilescu, which he has done. Here's Popescu. Toma has a go from range, just the wrong side of the post. Okay, half time. Apart from that, there wasn't much else to report. Been a pretty quiet game. We have changed it up to a more positive style to try and get something. Um, again, we're going to go media. Um, yeah, 45 minutes to go. Let's see if we can uh, get a win here. Wasn't a great deal to talk about in that match. Um, second half is underway, about three minutes in. And the Voluntari do have the ball here. Of course, they got promoted with us uh, last season. So, um, yeah, they joined us from the second division. Here's Bordiar for them. Goes for the cross. Uro's at the far post. Oh, and Graeb can't keep it out. And again, we've conceded early in the second half. That happens a lot. And I don't like it. And I feel like Graeb should have done better here. Uh, Bordiar with the cross. Aura a good away from his man at the far post. And Graeb just didn't quite get to that. But defensively there, whoever that is, Shofran... Maybe should have done a bit better. East pass is on for uh, Manea. This is not going too well here. Throw in though. 62 minutes with Nechu. Not a good throw in at all. We're giving the ball away again from a throw. And here's Pop. This could be a chance for uh, Voluntari to double their lead if we don't do anything about it. Keep with him. Okay, Zurich. It is 2-0. Grab again has managed to get a hand to it and can't keep it out. <laughs> and it looks like it's going to be a bad end to the season here. I mean, it's a new centre-back pairing. Or not a new pairing, but a different pairing of Bitzer and Brasanovic, who I don't think have played together since season three. And unfortunately, we're 2-0 down here. Durek had the shot at goal. Grab again, has flapped at that and not stopped it from going out. These away games, we need to be doing better. We need points from these sort of games next season, so we need to figure out how we're going to do that. This second half has been all voluntary. And again, we've failed to score in this game. Not been a good performance, this one. Still time, though, maybe. Five minutes left. Here's Shofran. Negoisku. Okay, this is better. We've got possession. We're moving forward. This but this was missing for the whole game. Shofran. Toma. Okay, not over yet. It's 2-1. It's five minutes to go. Uh, have I got any more changes I can make? Oh, I have. Okay, nice. Okay, I've gone 4 2 4 I brought on Dragici for Vasilescu. I've got very attacking. We've got five minutes to try and save a point from this. Hopefully we can do it. As that Toma gets back-to-back -back goals. <laughs> he's come He's come through in the last two games. But it looks like that's going to be it. There is a late free kick here, which is saved by Grayab. I think that's going to be the last um, highlight of the game. It's going to be a 2-1 loss, unless we can break from this corner kick, which I don't think we'll be able to. But let's see. It's headed away by, Vas by Isbas. Oh, you never know. You never know. Oh, no. We're on the run and he's caused full time because, of course, he does. Okay, it's a defeat to end the season. That's a shame. Uh, but we didn't have anything to play for. I guess mentally they weren't quite there. But fifth place in the playoffs. Good finish. We finished six points clear of those playoffs. Voluntari and Cluj will have uh, playoffs against teams from the second division. Botashani and Klincheni relegated from the first division. And we get £62,000 for that which leaves us still almost £400,000 in debt. FC Argish and Sheik Jureda will be promoted from the second division. Concordia, Kiajna and FC SB2 will go into the playoffs against uh, Voluntari and CFR Cluj. Still a couple of games left, though, in the uh, championship group to see if FC SB can win that title. It looks like they've all but won it with two games to go. Uh, it looks like they've effectively won the uh, title. I'm very, very happy with our season. We had a bad run of nine without a win. Had to poor performances in that um, relegation group. But overall, very, very good season. We've stayed up, so I'm very happy. And FCSB uh, with a draw away against Gazmatan Midiash. Uh, they've sealed the title. Kindia winning three goals to two. They come second. And uh, Vitarol dropping points away against Yashi. They drop to third place. So FCSB uh, title winners for the third time in four years. And CFR Cluj win the Romanian Cup for their second successive season. Cluj managed to keep their place in the first division with a 4-3 aggregate win over FC SP2, but Voluntari relegated back to the second division. A 1-0 aggregate loss since Concordia Kiajna promoted to the first division. So all that remains is to have a look at our season review and have a bit of a recap of the season that was 2023-24, to starting with our transfers. And I think they've mostly been good. Erez... Uh, played a handful of games due to injuries and was really good, actually. 
Only 19 and he held his own in the first division. So very, very pleased with how he did. Nechi was a very capable left back. He didn't start immediately because... Um, a prayer was doing okay, but once he came in, he was pretty good. Uh, Manalake managed to uh, be our, one of our starting centre-backs. 37 appearances for him and a good rating for him. Uh, Shofran, 19 games at right-back, was very good. Uh, Manea, 11 goals in the league. Saw him, you know, become our first-choice striker ahead of East Bay, so had a bit of a goal drought. Sukar joined us in January, played 16 games. Good enough for goal, did pretty well. Uh, Drigici had a bit of a slow start to his time. Uh, signed from Sepsi, but didn't do too badly. Uh, Morong had a bad start, but did start to get some games later on. 17 appearances and then 10 sub appearances. Uh, Kozlov, we haven't seen play and he's out on loan. Uh, looking at the players that left, uh, Florian Rajdan did very well for Brashov. 17 appearances, three goals, six assists. Uh, Ilya didn't do too badly. Kostake didn't do well. Vidraru didn't do well. So um, yeah, those guys managing to get some games. And Wallace... Uh, is still a free agent. That was the player that we missed at centre-back. We are one of the worst defensive records this season, and I think Wallace was a key part of us being so good defensively in the past. I should have kept him on for a bit. He wanted a three-year deal, though, which meant that he would have been with us till like, age 38, and I didn't want that. So, unfortunately, he left for nothing, and he's still a free agent. That's the thing that we need to get some in terms of signings, though. We need some leadership in the team because we don't really have that. That's what we need to focus on with the transfer window is getting these players that have like good teamwork and good leadership because that's what we need. We're missing those team leaders, and that's why I think we conceded so many goals this season. But after 30 games, we found ourselves in 11th place with 38 points, which I think is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, we did rotate midfield quite a lot this season to try and find out what our best pair was. Um, and the form in the midfield wasn't too good. Uh, but I think uh, Manea, you know, started the most games up front. Nezovic and Nagoisko, I think, were our key players out wide. Uh, we did change system after a while, um, changing from 4 2 3 1 to 4 3 3. But um, yeah, very, very pleased with the team. Grayab was a very consistent goalkeeper whenever he played. He got player of the season. Manalake, young player of the season. Sukar signing of the season. Uh, Vasilescu, goal of the season, as we saw. 17 goals in all competitions for Nezovic. 9 assists for Nagoisku. Very, very good season. And now we seem to make sure that we take the right steps to try and build on that for uh, Season 5. And like I said, I think the way we've got to do that is more leadership because we don't really have team leaders. Do we even have any in our hierarchy? Okay, we have three now, but we didn't at the start. Wallace was our only one. So Nagoisku, Ispas and Grayab have stepped up. But I think we need some players that have some good leadership and sort of teamwork attributes because I don't think they're too good. And I think better set piece takers as well. That's what I think we need to focus on this season. Not so much the, you know, the passing attributes and the, the defensive attributes, but I think set piece takers and, some, you know, real sort of mentality players rather than, um, you know, technical people. And they're expecting us again next season to just fight against relegation. So we'll, we'll, we'll give it our best shot. I think it's going to be a case of trying to get a player in every position almost just to try and improve the whole squad. I think midfield needs the biggest work because that's where we struggled last season. Our midfield just didn't control the game enough and didn't dictate the game. So I think midfield is going to be where most of the work is. But, um, we'll have to wait and see. But that's going to do it for today's video and that's going to do it for season four. Hopefully we enjoyed it. It's our first season in the first division. We've stayed up. Now we've got to try and improve on that in season five hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like down below and leave comments it's the best way to support and help the channel and if you haven't done so already or if you're new then do subscribe and turn on notifications and i'll see you next episode for what is going to be the start of season five of eastern resurgence 2 uh let's just try let's just see if we can improve on the points tally if we can get 40 points after 30 games next season that would be good that's going to do it for today's video that's going to do it for season four thank you for watching i'll see you soon goodbye